We learn new information about the lone gunman who opened fire at two U.S. naval facilities in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Four Marines died in the shooting. NBC's Dave Wagner is in Chattanooga this morning with the very latest on the victims and what we know about the gunman. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Kate Near. It's good to talk to you today. This is still very much an active crime scene. This is the second of the two crime scenes. This is where those four Marines were killed. It's a sad morning in Chattanooga for those four families, a sad community for the entire community here, a sad day for them. It was uh, 30 minutes of terror at two military centers. The question authorities are asking this morning, was it an act of terrorism? Barricades and bouquets tell part of the story. Our hearts are breaking for the families of these Marines tonight. Today, investigators are trying to determine why. It was loud and it was fast. On Thursday, investigators say Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz opened fire with at least 25 rounds on an armed forces recruiting center. We actually didn't escape. Mm -hmm. uh, our, through our sh active shooter drills, we actually barricade in the building. The gunman then drove seven miles to a Marine Corps Reserve Center where he gunned down four Marines. We are conducting this as a, an act of domestic terrorism. Abdulaziz is among the dead. He was a naturalized U.S. citizen, born in Kuwait, but lived in the area for many years. Last night, authorities searched the lone gunman's home, car, and online activity. We are, we are checking every possible place that he could reside or could have resided. While a motive is unclear, President Obama is calling for the nation to come together. The deepest sympathies of the American people to uh, the four Marines that have been killed. A country and community dealing with gunfire and grief once again. Hmm. We should mention here again that this 24 year old gunman lived with his parents. His dad, in fact, is a Chattanooga City employee. Uh, the gunman was not on any terrorist watch list, and his high school friends, some of those kids who are closest to him, say, this does not sound like him at all. They describe him as the average guy next door. Kate, Aaron. Well, we just heard in your story that they mentioned authorities there mentioning this as a domestic terrorism. What are authorities saying about the right. terrorist connections? Well, I should point out here that they are saying very, very little at this point. But uh, some folks privately are telling NBC News that there are signs that this may have been ISIS inspired, inspired by ISIS. Uh, I can also tell you something interesting here. Uh, the gunman's high school yearbook entry is a little bit haunting when you look at it in retrospect here. Uh, his entry said, my name causes national security alerts. What does yours? Just kind of interesting when you, when you look back at that and realize what this man did. For sure, Dave. Thank you so much in Chattanooga for us this morning. We know the digging will continue there. Here is what our sister station in Chattanooga uncovered about the 24-year-old suspect's background. Mohammed Yosef Abdulaziz grew up in the Hickson community, a suburb of Chattanooga. And after high school, he became involved in extreme fighting. This video of a match from XFN Chattanooga shows him in camouflage sh shorts there. He graduated in 2012 from the University of Tennessee with a degree in electrical engineering. And just this past April, he was booked on a DUI charge. And as the investigation moves forward in Chattanooga, security around the nation is being stepped up. Federal buildings and military facilities are seeing extra guards this morning. And several officials say there are indications the shooting in Tennessee may have been inspired from overseas uh, through social media and the Internet. And because of that, security is being stepped up at some federal buildings and military facilities across the country. Just last week, the FBI director expressed his concerns to Congress. There's a group of tweeters in Syria, and their message is too prompt. Come to the so-called caliphate and live a life of uh, some sort of glory or something. And if you can't come, kill somebody where you are. Kill somebody in uniform. Federal officials say several factors point to the possibility that the attacks may have been terrorism, as we've heard, and mainly because of the choice of targets, government buildings, and military personnel in uniform. Unfortunately,